Hey guys, welcome back to Geek with Dev. Finally, I am bringing to you an exclusive Zoom interview with Justin Magne. He wrote the song Pogue Style. That's people are people have been uh, screwing that up, including myself. Um, <laughs> but how are you? I'm good, bro. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, man. I'm so happy we're finally getting this done. Dude, finally, bro. It's a relief, honestly. Absolutely. So, man, like, I don't have a script. I don't have anything written, so I'm all just going right off the bat. But, like, the success of your song, uh, Poe Style, has been phenomenal, and your song, uh, Worth It. Fans of Outer Banks around the world have come to your live videos, your DM, like, I'm sure your DMs, and uh, have just all been loving and appreciating the song. What's your reaction to that? <laughs> Bro, normally I have a reaction to everything. Like, people know me as someone who always has something to say. But, like, the amount of feedback I've gotten has just been astronomically, you know, insane. And oh, yeah, I'm speechless, man. Like, I can't say thank you enough to them, you know, to the audience and, like, the listeners because it's just so – it felt – like, it just felt tangible for the first time in a long time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It, it was just a surreal moment to see the amount of people that's come together because of the show, because of the songs. And, like, I don't, I'm just grateful. That's basically it, really. Yeah. And so – were you kind of, I don't know if you were before, uh, kind of suffering from a little bit of writer's block before Outer Banks came up. I think I heard you say something like that. But um, how, like, we got to know, because you're the, you're going to be this this famous artist, mark my words right now here on Geek with Dev 2020, that you're going to be this huge guy. And, and, and um, we need to know, how did you find that inspiration? How did you find Outer Banks? When did you first see it? first saw it when it first came out april 15th at 1206 a.m exactly because when i checked the time i was about to go to sleep and then i was going on, i was like i hey, know what i'll watch some netflix instead of play video games this time and then luckily i stumbled upon the recommended section which was like 16th place outer banks and i was like yo that girl's kind of cute not gonna <laughs> lie that's the first that's the first that's that's what really attracted me i was like oh this girl's kind of cute i read the preface <laughs> about like the whole treasure hunt I was like, okay, this might, this is pretty cool. And once the first episode hit, it just reminded me of my friends back home. And it just reminded me of the camaraderie I had as a family with my friends, one of my cl closest four friends. And I just watched that entire season, that entire day. And then that morning, literally that morning, like right after I finished episode 10, it was like 8.30 a.m. And I was like, oh God, I can't sleep. And so I, re I just went to my laptop and I just started screwing around with some guitar um, riffs and then I was like, okay, I need like this, this riff is dope. Um, it turned out being the chorus, it was the uh, da -da 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 part of the chorus. And I was like, okay, I need more inspiration. So I just picked episode four because that was my favorite in of the entire series. Oh, yeah. And then I just put myself in the mindset of what it would be like to um, talk to a girl that I just fell in love with in Sarah Cameron and uh, John B's characters. I just placed myself in John B's shoes. And then before you have it, I have worth it by the end of the week. So it was honestly by the just end all of the luck. week. Yeah. By the end of the week, it was just luck. I think for people such as yourself, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Peter Rimoliotis, I think is how you say it, um, but it was timing, man. And, and the timing was just so phenomenally. It all fell in place. I've met you, I met Pete, you've met so many kind people. Um, I watched it at 3 a.m. It comes out at 3 a.m. Uh, the day it came out and it was just like, wow, this is so good. The sense of community and the, the sense of, of hope for summer uh, is something that like, I think a lot of pogues, and I, I call myself a pogue, you call yourself a pogue, we're pogues, man. Uh, it, it, it lets us dream of summer because we're all so trapped in the house. So like, how has being trapped in the house been for you other than awesome beside like with, <laughs> with with everything that's going on how has it been um truthfully boring i mean what else can i do at home you know other than do chores do my summer work and then play video games you know like i i call music a job now but at the same right time on. it's like what i want to do you know what i'm saying so i don't really it's not busy work for me, as a lot of people would say about their jobs. It's really something I love to do. But other than that, um, 
being at home is just like trying to keep my headspace corrected because there's, there's, it's easy. It's really easy to lose motivation during this time, you know, sadly. And, you know, I just try to stay focused on, you know, an end goal or whatever. Yeah. I feel like it's super easy to lose focus right now, especially through these times. And like, it's good on you for like actually making like it a proactive time and a productive time. How long did it take you to, well, oh, you said you had the song done in a week. Skip that. Okay. So once you were done the, the worth it song, how soon did you go in and dive into like, I'm making post style. All right. So my, I, I got lucky with that too. Honestly, this entire OBX thing has been driven by a, like luck a lot. Um, after worth it. And then Madeline Klein reposting my acting video on her story. Shout out Maddie Klein. We love you, baby girl. Oh, we um, do. <laughs> we do love you, baby girl. <laughs> um, after she posted me on the story. And then I just saw a bunch of people just like slide into my DMs, slide into, you know, like my Spotify followers skyrocketed and all that stuff. Um, I was like, okay, now I think it's time for me to like pay homage to this beautiful ass show. And I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'm going to get on my piano. I'm going to play like, I played the office theme. That's where like, I'm shout out to the office for like, do, 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 do. so that's where the inspiration for the, the, riff, the riff came from. And then I was like, you know what? Let me still, you know, invert it. Let me change it around a little bit, change the chord progression. And then pretty soon I had like the hit, you know, backbeat of poke style. And I was like, oh my God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's it. So and then cool. I was like, and then I was like, this is going to be a summer hit. My entire mentality yes. changed. My entire mentality changed from I'm going to write a love song to I want people to party with this song on windows down, you know, driving down a highway, parkway, whatever, having a great time with their friends, you know, drink a couple beers, not during driving, but you drink a couple beers <laughs> on the side, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, this is going to be the summer song. And then by the end of the day, I made the backtrack and I was like, this is it. This song is going to skyrocket. Mm, man, that makes me so happy. Like, like just hearing, this is why I love what I do, guys. Because hearing the stories behind things, it just makes me so much happier that, like, it, it worked out and it paid off. And, like, I mean, I say we're friends. I, I, I consider us friends. And, like, you've made, <laughs> you, you've created great bonds with people. And, and that's what it's all about. You have this fan base now that can support you through your next years you know as, as a musician yeah, does that make sense yeah. um and like not even lying guys um i was listening to some of your other work too uh oh, what was the what was that one song called foolish i think it's called foolish and like it's, it's it's really good like i i was listening to poe style for the 50th thousandth time and <laughs> and like then it, it shuffled and another song came on and I'm like, this guy has a really similar voice to Justin's. And then I'm like, this is, and then I add it to my like songs. Right. And then I'm, and then I go back, I, I double, I double, do double take. And I'm like, Oh shit, that is Justin. And I'm <laughs> like, that's such a good song too. So like, definitely if you guys like, um, Pogue style, like definitely check out some more of his music because it's dope. It's so good. Thank but, um, what else was I going to ask you? Um, so show wise, there has been a lot of talk. Um, I know some of my fans have created a petition to get me on season two to kind of, like you said, pay homage to to all the supporters. Um, and I'm over here in the, in this corner. I'm like, you know, we got to get Justin on on OBX. I, I firmly believe that you could have a solid role in the show. And I'm not talking go go be at a, at a kegger on the beach. No, no, no. Don't be an extra. Like you could have a role. And it, and it, yeah, it just makes sense. It just it it works so perfectly, and it like it, it just falls into place. Like you could be in where were they going? The Bahamas. Bahamas. Yeah. <laughs> the Bahamas. I know. Man. Dude, like I why not? That. Why not? You got to. Um, but uh, we're all rooting for you, man, and we all hope that you that you go on. That's just that that honestly warms my heart, bro. Like I can't. I like I said in the beginning, I can't thank you guys enough. It's just. Like I used to do, you know, live streams all the time. I used to connect with a bunch of these people internationally, but not at this type of scope. You know, it's been so, it's like a, it's not a wave, you know, it's not a roller coaster either for me. Like right now, this it's is, just. 
this is it, man. This is <laughs> oh, just blast off. It's just the bla- it's just blasting off right now. There's no there's no going down for me. It seems like you know, and I'm just grateful for that. It's a great feeling to have. Bella, you want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hi? Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. I made your appearance. Okay, now you can hop off anytime. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, she's her. grass. Oh, oh, you can win off the back. <laughs> <laughs> she really did a whole one eighty on you, man. I know. <laughs> um, but where were we? After season two, oh, that's where you're going. Like we just talked about season two yeah. possibility. You got to get on the show. That's what we were saying. Yeah, we definitely, you definitely do. All right, so uh, while well, we're sitting at a good, we're sitting at a good time here. I was, I figured I, I might as well ask, can we hear Pogue style? Yes, yes you can. You can definitely ladies, hear Pogue style. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody around the world, are you gonna play it on your computer? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna play it. On my computer. <laughs> I thought you were gonna play it. On my computer. <laughs> you're my spirit. You're my spirit animal. <laughs> Just yeah, guys, you're gonna hear me play it live through my laptop speakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, that'd be awful. I'm trying to All play. right, guys. So, well, this is exclusive uh, on the show, and you can also you can also watch it on on Justin's live every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, everyone asks. Me. <laughs> Um, but this is, uh, I mean, I might as well let you introduce it. Go, go ahead, go away. This is Pogue Style, ladies and gentlemen, by yours truly, Justin Magnet, on The Devon Show, Geek, geek with Dev. Is it geek? Hey, Geek with Dev, Geek yes. with Dev, Geek with Dev. This is Pogue Style. I hope you guys enjoy. It's like an acoustic version. Obviously, I'm not playing it through my laptop so you can, Okay. like a storm, summer sun on a boat, the oceans may form, and my friends are my home, but these rich kids be hating, but they can't mess with our flow, and nobody gave a shit because they cook and we pose, a sunset, yeah, we love the life we're living, nothing could ever slow us down, paradise on earth can feel forgiven, so don't turn around, take us to the OBS now. Yeah. Take us to the OBS now. <laughs> Take us to the OBS. Moving on, summer clothes. Bandanas on bandanas, you already know. I got the button, I'm still true. Don't need the button though. A couple drinks and then we go. She's got the desert dogs that make you cry. I know she sees it in my eyes. I'd like to feel your kisses up tonight. She's gonna make a grown man cry. I asked for love up in Vegas. I searched for fame in LA. My plan is to be the greatest. I'll never stop till that day. I got the homies all with me in a Twinkie to ride. And remember the motto, cause we are folks for life. My son said that we love the life we're living. Nothing could ever slow us down. Paradise on earth can feel forgiven. So don't turn away. Take us to the OBS. Now. Take us to the OBS now. Oh. To the OBS now. Where our dreams become real with our friends. Where our hearts all become one instead. My sunset, yeah, we love the life we live in. Nothing could ever slow us down. Paradise on earth can feel forgiving, so don't turn around. And take us to the OBX now. And take us to the OBX now. And take us to the OBX. 
Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Thank if you, there's man. any place I'd rather be right now, man, it's it's the Neo BX, brother. For sure. <laughs> Me too, man. It is, man. Me too. <laughs> um so before i wrap things up i want to just say you know once again congratulations and by the way thank you for coming on my show um i really appreciate it uh you've been a you've been a great a great friend man bro same to you man thanks for having me on here bro i'm gonna fully support you through your entire career thank you this is the closest we have to a concert everybody uh, i hope you enjoyed make sure you go check justin out on spotify apple music you know all, all that all that good stuff and especially on instagram what's your instagram handle my instagram is at justin underscore magne m-a-g-n-a-y links to the songs and his instagram will be in the description below now before we wrap up one thing if you could say one yes, thing sir. If you could say one thing to Maddie Klein right now, what would it be? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> one thing to Madeline Klein. Madeline Klein, if I was looking at you right now, your beautiful face and beautiful eyes, I would probably say that. I'd faint. <laughs> yeah. We were That's talking right, about bet. maybe ta- uh, meeting meeting Maddie if we, if we ever ended up on set. <laughs> Do you guys have DMs or what? Me and her? Yeah we've dm twice and you front when she posted your story to her story yeah but are there any words you don't have to tell us what they are but are there any are there any words do you have it did, did you have any words with maddie klein i did have words with Madeline. oh she, yeah she DM, the first dm before like after she reposted my story um immediately immediately after she swiped up on one of my stories about worth it and she goes she heard it wow she heard it she oh goes, wow you are so effing talented thank you for this and then i go i threw my phone across the room and i was like oh my god oh my god i picked up my phone i was like madeline klein this means the world to me thank you so much i love you we love you you're the best heart eye emoji heart emoji and then after that <laughs> She swiped up on another story and said, wow, this art is beautiful. And it was an art piece that someone made of me and her together. No way, man. They got us. Oh, we got to get them to. S- I messaged JD, but he hasn't seen my message yet. We- he hasn't seen uh, it. He's a busy gotta- boy, bro. He got a moose. He is. He is. He did. He did. He got a moose. Yeah, man. I can't believe that. Like, he was so nice. And like, after I, after I did the interview, like, He's like, oh, how come I can't see your your live or whatever? I'm like, oh, I mean, I think it's just because you can't. You, I think it's because you don't follow me, man. And, and, then, and then, and then he's like, oh, sorry, sorry, man. And then he followed me. I'm like, I'm like, I hope he gets so like, like I hope he, it stays. It stayed so far. He's at a million now. I hope that he just kind of forgets that he's even following me, so that it just stays. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I, like right now in this moment which you guys are watching a, a fragment of this moment, but right now we're in this moment living together. Right. And I'm, I'm saying right now we're going to be, this is going to happen. This You're going to, you're going to be on season two. We're going to, we're going to, your, your song is going to blow up. They're going to hear it. They're going to repost it. They're going to find it. Like I'm making a prediction right now. I'm, 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 this is my Simpsons impression. <laughs> so I just, I, man, I really, wholeheartedly with my whole heart i hope that this works out man thank you for coming on the show thank you so much for having me dev you're the best